Right boys, it's that time of year where the air comes get a bit chilly. So we've got ABC windscreen there. Well over it is, June, mate. Well overdue. Yeah, it is well overdue, mate. It's right, been a, it's been like it for a, yeah, a good few months anyway. Trouble is, the air comes a bit chilly now. I know it is. Top man, you are. Top man. There's the new Mooshman. Everybody's at the yard this morning. Hello, mate, Moosh. What are we doing? I'm getting my uh, air conditioning window done. Ooh. I know, it's hot, isn't it? Oh, it's bonded in? Yeah, it's bonded in, yeah, it's just Stanley and his heart. Right, boys, we're going to have a look at the new Mooshman. Oh, there she is, mate. You've done me well there. Well, it's good. Well, don't then. Fucking twat. Bother me, mate. Look at that lot. Cash has sorted me out with windscreen. Well done, mate. ABC windscreen Lincoln. I've always used him, your gaffer. Yeah, yeah. He's top man. Oh, wow. All right. Cheers, Cash. Thank you, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. Sorted. Take it easy, yeah? All right. Take it easy. Take it easy, mate. Thank, Thank you. Can I make sure I punch it? Go there. Ah, that's good, isn't it? At least my windscreen's done. Oh, look at that. Stop getting on at me now, okay? It's done. <laughs> Classic. Now it'll be a bit warmer, won't it? Josh has got some new work boots done, but trouble is, they're not very health and safety wise, Josh, are they? So what we need to do with these bad boys, look. Nasty pair of boots, aren't they? There, yeah, nice right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, they love their splendid boots. Be safe, be seen. Everybody will be after his health and safety chockers now. You keep hold of them, Josh. Right, parts. How are we going with our parts? Do we know? How did they get on with my parts? Where's your clown feet gone? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've got toenails like fucking horse hoops, lad. Look, new new safety boots now, look. Got them bad boys. They're better than your clown ones, aren't they? <laughs> well, I went to a job the other day and there was a man there, worked in India. Been there for 10 years. And he says, it was there to buy a flip flap than it was to employ another Indian. <laughs> That's true. It was on a pound a day. So we to get another a good Indian. Indian was on a pound a day, he says a bad one was on 80p. He had 2,000 men under him, this is true, true story. He had 2,000 Indians working for him, putting steel up. I said, what about, oh, how can you control fucking 2,000 men? Yeah. Two gaffers. He said, well, it's only a pound a day for a good one. He said, it was there for me to work, buy a new pair of flip flops, walk around site and check on it. Then it was to employ another one if something happened to him. Fucking hell, life's disposable there, That's isn't true. It? Life disposable one. I don't know. That is true, that is. Came with five pair of flip flops in the Western Face Indian. Fucking hell. Alright, see you there. What do you think we've got it rough? And as well, you know the Cornish pasty thing what I was on about with the pastry? Apparently that wasn't coal mines, it was tin mines. It was the stuff that was uh, mining from the uh, tin mines was poisonous. They found out it made people ill. You know, if they was eating the Cornish pasty after they'd been got all the dust on their hands, it was methylene poorly. That's why the Cornish pasty has that pastry rib around it, so they can chuck that away and not eat it and not get poisoned. See? I got educated there, didn't I? I like it like that. You know, a proper fact. Another one as well, what, uh, what I heard lately, uh, you know, like World War, World War Two, and Vietnam, and that. When, when, uh, when you see the lads all in the army stuff uh, with their helmets on, and they ain't got the chin straps done up, are they? Uh, I just thought they just couldn't be asked to do the chin strap up. But apparently, it, they do do that for a reason. It's because they found out that if they had the chin strap on, and they got hit in the helmet with a bullet or out, uh, the helmet would deflect the bullet, but. Uh, yeah? Chris? Yo, yo. As soon as we get here, mate. Cheers, Lee. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye. Yeah. 
yeah, the bullets deflected off the helmet, but uh, because they had the chin strap on, the whiplash off it used to fucking break the necks. So that's why they left the chin straps off, because if they did get hit in the helmet, uh, the helmet had come off the head, obviously, and they wouldn't get the neck broken. So the word got around that people were getting the neck broken while having the chin strap on. So that's why everyone leaves the chin straps off. That's what someone said anyway. And it makes sense to me. In the comments, if there's any other reason. Right. Uh, I'm waiting for parts, so let's go and do something else. I've got MOTs on next week. I need, oh, I've got no end to do. Come on, let's go. I've got MOT prep to do, but instead of doing it in this fucking mud, it's got a bit of our standing here, look. Let's clear the way, and now I can put it on here, can't I? That's better than working in the mud, isn't it? Light work of that, doesn't it? Lifting that up, that's good gear, isn't it? That lifting gear. Hey, you know, I thought it was gonna be struggling, but no, straight up. Joe lift with left uh, with a bit of wood because he's fucking struggling, he's bust his thumb open. And he says, yeah, much do your kids uh, have a games console? I said, yeah, they've got a PS4 thing, but I don't update it around, so they don't go on it very often. He says, there's a load of games here, lot found in the skip. Look. I says to him, cushy that is. Like, you don't have to play, like, the campaign thing where they don't have to be online, obviously. It'd be all right, wouldn't it? I don't like them on them computers, you know. You know, fuck, fucking computers. Uh, you know, if you had them on, the, the, the fucking be a lovely sunny day and they'll all be sat in there on the fucking computers. Bollocks to that. I don't like them. But it is going winter. I said to Joe, it is handy because it is going winter now. You know when it gets fucking dark at half four or whatever. You know what I mean? Might have a little play with that, you see? Hmm. Out for now. <laughs> Bloody right. Right, get the next one in my little nice, clean, hard standing bay. Uh, chamber and a wheel stud on uh, on that old uh, Volvo. <laughs> yeah, the brake was binding on, so it wound it off a lot. Thinks it's the chamber, so we've got a new chamber. Well, be coming out in a minute, I hope. We'll whip this chamber off, won't we? Trapped it, didn't you, Joe? One of them gate posts. Just a little bit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, it's up in there. It's throbbing. You know, like off of them cartoons where they get a big red thumb and it's going woof, woof, woof. That's what it feels like. Isn't it? Oh, 
spray we van time in front of it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look, these, look, you take them two nuts off there, them two separate. That one comes out. And you remove them two. And then you can put your part brake on, and then you can just get these two parts. So I need some kind of hammer now. Well, I'll get a hammer and chisel and wedge it. Put it out. Oh, yeah, it'll just come out of that rod now, you see. Can it? I can leave that pin in. I was going to tie that pin all the way out, but I no need to. Take it straight out, can't I now? Silly man. I just can't fit that deep reach in, look. I'll get a shell of 24mm and I'll get some spray. I'm gonna have to get stocked up on my spray, I've run out. I'll go through some, you know. Go through no end of spray grease, don't you, on this job. We'll use a bit of grease instead. I thought I was open there with that, with that extension on. I thought I might have Bob open now. Fucking hell. You beggar you. I can see me snapping this wobbly extension. Oh no, she's gone. I thought this extension was going to give up the ghost then. I wonder if my little whisk popper will do it. Ah, I bet it won't. Whoa! Oh, did it there, nice. Work it, baby! Come on, little whisk popper! My little whisk popper has done it again, hasn't it? It's a bloody good little gun, this is, you know. My little Makita whisk popper. Couldn't live without it. <laughs> Lovely job, That's what we like. Right, come on out now. Right, I'm going to put a part brake on now to let the air out so I can disconnect these. I haven't seen the new one arrive yet, so I'm hoping it's going to be here. Yeah, that's returning all right. I'll just have to measure it from there to the end there to see where I need to chop it off at. Well, that's when the brake's off, obviously. So you need to put air to it to let the brakes off, to then push the thingy back and then chop it. Don't chop it beforehand, or else when you get the brakes off, it'll be too short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Up there thinking down there, can't Just turned up, look. They had a driver, uh, they had a driver ill. That's why they're a bit late. They had to get someone else to call the phone. All oh, right, so that's wind off. So, that's simulating the air pressure being down it. So I could measure that and chop that as it is now. And by rights, it should be the right length. <laughs> as long as that socket to the first rib there, that's where I'm gonna chop it to.
Yeah, it was fucked inside that chamber, look, Mike. Spring's all gone on that. Part break off, Mike, would you? Try this train. Try this train yeah, part break on, uh, foot break on. And off. Lovely. Hello. on the side, isn't it? I was just thinking that, you know, is it because I don't use the cup while I was on holiday? It's been sat with fucking moisture in it. Even though holiday feels like it was about fucking 10 years ago, isn't it? I don't know, you haven't been on one. <laughs> Mike don't have holidays, do you, Mike? No, no one will drive the upload. <laughs> oh, I've a word. Well, I've run out of fuel now. I was going to change this because uh, one of these is wrong, but uh, we're not going to. They're all tight, so I'll do. Next week's job. Don't do today when you can put off till next week. Fucking filthy. Look at that bastard. Look. Hey. Fucking hell. Just like working, the fucking summit is. Yeah, sack that off. I have. I've run out of fuel. Uh, I've got no means to fucking get the compressor built up. Let's go and get the petrol. He's uh, he wants to go because he's got jobs to do at his farm, so we'll set off till another day. The stud's tight, it's all right, so I'll do. Right, so back in the yard now. I've got to go and visit someone in the hospital, which is never a good thing to do, so I've got to get washed up in that. Uh, it's Friday, guys. Friday, there it is. That means it's the weekend. Uh, catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good weekend. See you later. Peace out, my brothers and sisters. Ha! You know what I say? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Look at my new window. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm very proud of that little window. Done very well, that little window. See you later!